my phone from I'm a hump on a bone stack and drill up a hill baby trying to get a meal Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Omega back on another video or with tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the permanent invisible body, torso and legs and everything like that. So if this does help you in any way, shape or form, make sure you do the like, subscribe and turn notifications for any future videos that I do upload. Enjoy the video. The first thing you're going to need to do is to make a female character in slot 2 of character selection. Make sure you also save your first character in like the first slot make sure you save the outfit that you want so put it on before you do the glitch because at the end you'll lose all the other outfits you have so you must put on one you want to make sure you have it after you load in you're going to want to go to the nearest closed store and if they don't appear when you load in just restart the session and it should work Now when you do end up getting into the actual cluster, the first thing you want to do, you want to go down to gloves and you want to choose the light wood tactical gloves. Alright, after that you want to go over to the shoes and go to high heel boots and scroll down to number 21 I think it is and choose the deluxe midnight boots. Cause those will give you some pretty cool shoes i don't remember what they're called right this moment but i think they were like all white so that you're gonna go over to the pants and go into the cargo pants and go all the way down to the navy uh cargo pants i think they are called they are pretty hard to find if you're not high enough level i don't think you're able to get them but i was only level 72 and i was able to get them so yeah Next, you're going to go over to the tops and you're going to go down to fit the jackets and then choose any one of these. It doesn't really matter which one, it's just for the top on the inside. And then you want to go to work tactical jackets or tactical jackets, sorry, and choose the bottom one. After that, you're going to go over to the cashier lady and you're going to save this outfit into slot number two. The only reason I'm going over here is because I forgot to take off the earrings in the first place, so I just had to do that. So make sure you're not wearing any glasses or earrings. Alright, after you've done that, you're going to go back over to Tops and go to Work Jackets. Go all the way down to you see Peach Camo, I think the number 9. And then after that, you're going to go, you're still going to be in Tops, don't do what I did right there. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, go into tops, go to gun running shirts, and choose the last one, blue digital shirt, I think it's called. So yeah, and then after that, you're going to go into cargo pants, and you're going to choose the first one. As you can see, this is the one I choose. You're going to choose the first one, if I actually would do it right in the video. The sported muscle pants, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say cargo pants, I meant to say sports pants. And then you're going to go pack to gloves and go put on the uh, wood tactical gloves because it took them off for some reason. All right, after that, you're going to go over to the cashier lady and you're going to put it in slot number four. And once you've done that, you're going to automatically go and you go into the interaction menu and kill yourself. Right, after this, you're going to go into the menu and you're going to go to creator. So this way you can start up a LAN race. After you start up the LAN race, you're going to automatically, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff, put the point to point, and you want to make the race 60 miles long. And you're going to automatically just go and finish the race, you know, easy peasy, the normal stuff to do these glitch outfits. And after that, you're going to press OK as you completed it. And then you're going to go into choose character selection. Don't exit here. Go over to online, choose character, and then you're going to delete that character, the second slot character. Make sure you be careful, alright? You don't want to accidentally delete your main character. You're going to delete your second slot character, and then you're going to back out from the choose character into story mode online. Now, I already have the invisible thing because I did it before this. I just wanted to show actually how to do it, so obviously you can see that I have it here, which is pretty cool. You know, yeah. 
after you load it in back into GTA Online, go and save the outfit that you wanted to save, and then go over to the nearest clothes store and choose one of the biking suits on whichever gloves you want, because that's like basically the only thing that's going to show on the outfit. And then after that, go into a crooked cop like you would normally do with any other glitch outfit, and go and start it up. Now after you've actually started it, you want to go into current outfit and you want to go over by two to, uh, you know, whichever, what, whatever you named it. I named it like G3 or something like that. I don't know why. It's stupid. But as you can see, your whole entire body invisible. Pretty cool, I know. And then you're going to just wait until the game starts up. I don't know why everyone else is taking so long, but they didn't. Now then, after you've loaded it into the actual mission, you want to put on your LCP earpiece after you go into accessories and put that on, and then you can just leave the mission or you can drive near a closed store and, you know, just be on your way there. Make sure you have it to the last set location, but actually, I don't think that matters. Now, there was a clip that actually cut out here, and basically, as soon as you load in, you want to go into the Titan, like a job for a Titan. And you want to go into that as soon as possible before the pants show up and you'll go over to the ammunition store and go and save the outfit. If you've done that, go over to a yacht or like a swimming pool as the casino also works. If you don't have a yacht, then just fly someone else's, that's what I did because I'm broke boy. And anyway, you want to go into a CEO and you want to switch into one of the other clothes. You, know, you want to go into style and then switch to the other clothes. Retire from the CEO and then as soon as you retire go back into it as soon as you go back into it below up with the sticky bombs that you placed And then if you appear with the pants on that means you did it wrong Or if you appear like with the actual outfit on you did it wrong and you want to just keep trying You see I managed to do it right that time so what you want to do you want to get onto whatever vehicle you have whether it's Stormberg or you can just take the helicopter and the yacht actually that probably works as well and you want to fly over to your apartment or you just go into your yacht and save the outfit sorry not save the outfit but go over to outfits like saved outfits once you go into the clothes option and then you'll have the whole entire invisible body and you should be good to go so just equip that and then you'll have the invisible body. It's pretty simple. You know, if this video does not help you, by all means, you can dislike it. But I hope it does help you in some way, shape, or form. And if it doesn't, I'll put a link into another video that might help. You know, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. Or consider just turning on notifications. I appreciate it a lot. And if you don't really understand, try watching the part that you don't understand again. If you're having trouble, put something down in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Next video, if you guys want, if this hits like 20 likes, I'll do a video on the trash bag suit. So yeah, peace out.